How's it going there, YouTube? It's your boy, YouTuber Lordy, coming at you with a new video for the first time in a long time. I know it's been, uh, been a minute. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I apologize. It's been a busy summer for me. I uh, had trained with the Army, went to South Korea for a while. A blast, learned a lot. And uh, so with my pay I received this summer, I decided to buy myself a present for being, you know, not dying. That's a plus, right? Okay, so I have been... Uh, been uh, working on a least single stage press for a while. Um, I think like two or three years, least single stage press. And that was a good press. I loved it. It worked good. It was just slow. It was a pain to use. And it just, I need, I want to take a step up. Because I know my shooting level is going to be going up as well. Because I've been joining, I'm up doing three gun now. And I've been just spraying on the bullets, let me tell you. So I need a way to cut down the cost for that. So I decided to step up to a Hornady AP progressive press. You guys can just kind of see the upper half here, but I'll take a minute and bring it a little closer if you guys actually see what's going on inside of it. And it's currently set up for, I'm doing 223. I've been uh, working on some of that today. Having a blast doing it. And uh, give me one second. Cut to show you guys the actual press itself. Okay, here we are. A little more zoomed in on the press. I'm going to try to keep this steady for you guys, but I will be moving it around. So at top here, you see is the case activated powder measure which is really nice because instead of having to powder charge each case individually it goes around and charges themselves. I'm currently doing 223 and I'm using the extreme brass reprocessed brass so it's already let me open it up and show you guys the beauty so it's already been trimmed resized and swaged back to everything ready so I don't need to worry about a resizing or depriming die. Only thing I need to do is prime it, okay, prime the case Charge it with powder, put a bullet in it, and I am crimping the case as well. That's just something I like to do. So let's start from our way, work our way left from right on uh, what you're going to be getting with it. So what this is, this is a finished case uh, bin. So as it the shell goes around, let's show you guys real quick. As your completed shell moves around, the easy eject system on the Hornady AP will knock it off into the case. And then down, just like so. So here's a mounting bracket. This would be for a case a case loader. So I made a case loader. I did not purchase one yet, but that'll be a next eh, eventually. It's pretty expensive to be honest. So around back you have your two mounting bolts. Uh, these are I believe five sixteenths bolts is the ones I used. And secured nice and good. You see the case holder is secured by this bolt, so you know you're not gonna it's not gonna break. So up top here in the back is the holder for the priming ram. So this uh, holds a metal bracket that actually uh, moves the primer. So move it right back down to the front. So you see you got yourself a massive uh, ram right there. So you know you're getting some uh, good movement out of that. The auto indexing feature is down there as well. Here you have, I just have the standard arm in. Um, I may be upgrading eventually to like an ergo one, but for now that's, uh, that's not happening. Your shell plate is this right here. So I have the number 16 in, which is used for... 223 and similar calibers. And now one piece of advice you guys are looking to get this, get a lock washer for this nut here because if this thing come loose, this going to be your number one problem for indexing is it's a loose shell plate. This lock washer is going to really prevent that. So on the right here, move these bullets out of the way, you have the auto prime used by Hornady and it's actually, auto prime has been the only thing I have issues with so far in this press. Everything else works perfectly. I'll show you guys how this works. So you have a primer slide in here, and this is your primer tube, uh, feed tube, and explosion tube, which is this other one, so if it doesn't explode, you don't, you know, lose everything. So what it does is when it goes up, the spring holds it in place, and it rides this metal bit up like that. And at the top of it is when it's going to pull a tube out of here, and on the bottom is where it puts the new primer into the primer ram. So that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I have had some minor issues with it just not working. I think it's just working out some kinks, maybe some burrs in there. Up here is a low primer indicator. Really, I just marked it so I know when it's zero, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Uh, like I said before, this is the case activated powder measure. So uh, that actually works pretty good. It's not the most accurate for what I've been using it for. That might just be my, my scale, which is just this cheap, Frankfurt electronic scale, but I've had it it's been throwing. I mean, usually a point one plus or minus, which I mean isn't too bad. I'm not using. I'm not making like fine target rounds. I'm just using some cheap burner stuff, which is what I use this for. 
Brawl Balls were working really good. And these two indents down here, the little uh, brass head fixtures, are actually for grease guns. So if I lift this up, you can see the grease up underneath there that makes it run nice and smooth. And uh, it actually works really nice. Back there, that uh, brass tube is the uh, primer drop. So when you knock a primer out, it'll fall through there, fall down to this tube. And I have it taped into a Gatorade bottle. So all this will just hold it until it gets full enough to where I don't need to dump it out. Just a little tidbit for you there. And what I'm actually going to do now, guys, I'm going to change the camera angle. And I'm actually going to run a complete round through it so you guys can see how it works. So be right back. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get a appropriate resized, trimmed, and swaged piece of brass. Put it in the first slot right here, and it slides right in with the case retaining spring being pushed down. So normally what you would do is you'd resize and deprime the first stroke, but since I don't have that, it just goes up into nothing. All the way up. Next one is all the way down to the primer. So you push, I like to hold the press because it gives me a better feeling. And as you can see, we now have a primed case, so you guys can see that. Slide that back into its slot. The next one also is nothing, so if I had, I can move my powder thing back and have a powder comp die, but I don't have one of those yet. But this is only my pistol flaring stage. Bring that back down. Next one is powder. So it's going to go up and it's going to hit this. And you see how that goes up all the way there? And on the way back down, I'm going to push the powder in. So you now have a appropriately powdered case. Or charged case, my bad. The next stage is going to be your bullet seating die. Find better looking bullets. So I'm using 55 grain XM193. These are just uh, pulled bolts from American Reloading, but they're nice and cheap and they shoot, so you can hold it in place like so, put it up all the way, all the way back down, and this is auto-indexing, so you see I'm not moving this, it's moving by itself, which makes it super fast to load. And your next stroke up is going to be the crimping, and then you're done. Bam. Just like that, you have a completed round. Five pulls of the lever, and you have a completed round. And as you can see, I've been doing this it's increased my productivity uh, at least tenfold. It used to be 50 rounds an hour was uh, was pretty the max I could probably do if I was just taking my time. Now I can do like 300 an hour, um, pretty easily. If I really want to cook fast, especially doing this, I could really go a lot faster. But then that I could you know worry about um, quality control stuff. But I want to make sure everything I'm doing is a uh, decent quality. Cause I don't want to explode my gun. So it's basically my first review and looking look at the Hornady Lock and Loaded AP Progressive Press. Um, I just want you guys to see what I've been working with. I will eventually be doing a upgrade video just to show some upgrades I did to this, but for now, I really haven't touched much. Mine's the lock washer, which I think is a really good idea. So we're gonna run right, one right through real quick and just show you how fast it is to really just do one case. Still as part as me. The machine's faster than I am. And just like that, you have a loaded round. Pretty beautiful. Now I'm gonna make sure this is within allowed specs, which it should be because nothing's changed. A little on the long side, 2 point, I don't know if you can see that too well, 2.2345, I've been going right around 2.230. So that's going to wrap it up with my quick uh, overview of the Hornady Lock and Loaded AP Press. Now, I'm really loving it so far, having very few issues with it. But I will be doing another follow-up video uh, when I get some more add-ons to it, just some stuff that I think really help it work better. And I will be doing another probably in a month or so after I put some more rounds. I probably loaded about two to 300 rounds for it through, through it so far. So I have a good understanding of how it works. But after I do some more, I'm going to do another video that you guys know how it's working from there. Along with any gripes or any accomplishments that I think it should be should be listed for you guys to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something useful. And as always, YouTube, have a beautiful freaking day. Goodbye.